How can we count colors in Excel? This is what you're going to see in today's video with a practical example. We're going to use a function to count colors in Excel. So with the first question that maybe you have in mind is, why should I, for what reason, should I count colors in Excel? I'm going to give you a good reason. So for example, here with this practical situation, where I have here a sales report with the date, SKU, the item, and the quantity, the employee what, uh, was responsible for this report just highlight here for me the items that just sold the most with this green color and the items that just didn't sold the well with a uh, red color for example and in between we have here uh, the blue color the yellow one uh, the orange one and so on so let's say instead of having this visual effect i want to have something more precise so instead, instead of using colors, I want to use numbers, I want to use values itself. So here, I have all the colors that the employee used before, orange, red, these two types of blue, uh, yellow, and green. So in the next column, I want to count how many times the orange colors just appeared before, how many times the red one appears. So to do it, Excel does not have an exact function to help us with this particular situation. So we're going to need to create our own function using VBA, but it's pretty much simple, okay? Don't need to worry about that. We can start here clicking the developer tab. And if you do not have this developer tab in your Excel, do not worry. Just go, let's say, to the home tab. And in any blank spot here, click with the right click and then go to the customize option. Okay. Now with this new Windows that is going to appear for you, you can change here popular commands to, let's say, all tabs, for example. And... Here you can find the developer tab, you can click, clicking add, and then you can click here, OK. Now you are going to have here the developer tab in, into your Excel. Now you can go here for the first two, that is Visual Basic, you can click here, and within this window we're going to create our own VBA function, or to make it faster and easier, you can just scope and paste the link that I'm going to leave to you, OK? So I'm going to go here, the first thing, insert just before we copy and paste the code, so insert tab. And then I go to module, I'm going to click here, and now we can just cope and paste Control c Control v or code or script here into VBA, okay? Now we can just close all this window right here and do it done, basically. So if you just click here in the first cell to count the colors, you're going to see that equal sign count color, the function that we just create. So double click here. The first thing that I need to select here is the range that I'm looking for. So the range that I'm looking for is all this range here in the quantity. So we're going to select everyone that is here and then I'm going to come back here. One important step here is to press the F4 key to make sure we can lock the reference because when I just click, hold and drag down the function to make sure all the rows contain the same function, I don't want to lost my main reference, okay, my lookup values. So I want to stay with this range in the same position, okay? I don't want you to drag down with the function. So I press F4 key and then comma. And now I select the color that I want to count. So I'm going to start here with this orange color. I can close parentheses and then press enter. Okay, so the count color function returns from, from me here the 8 as result. So that way I know that the orange color just appeared before 8 times. If I click here in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag down. As you guys can see, I got the result for all the colors that I have. And of course, you can do it with another example. So Let's say here, I want, I want to add here a new sheet, and then I want to paint here just a couple of cells, let's say yellow, I'm going to paint yellow again, one more time, and then I'm going to paint here, let's say uh, a red one. Okay, so I want to count how many yellows and red I have. I can just here in any cell, just paint one in red and another one in yellow, so like this for example. And now we can use the function equal sign, count color, double click it, to count for me all the colors that I have, I instead of just select the specific range, let's say the way, I can select a, a large range, for example, like this. And then I can press F4 key to make sure I lock the reference, comma, and then I want to count first. I'm going to start here with the red color. Enter, and yeah, the red color just appeared one time. And then if I click here, hold and drag down, as you guys can see, the count color function just returned for me one and three. So yeah, it's correct. So we're done. I hope you guys, you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, any doubt, if you want to learn more about VBA to learn, to understand when and how I use any value that I have here, any function, how can I create a script using VBA to automate some boring tasks in Excel? Let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.